Hello, I'm Morse Kohansky, Wilderness Living Skills Instructor. Uh, here the topic is a wide variety of different topics where it's not easy to find seven books as we have done with some of the other presentations. That is, uh, uh, the, the um, knowledge available through the literature is really stretching the point if we we're trying to find seven books on uh, brain tan buckskin, for example. Well, we have here too that, that if people are interested in, in the tanning of hides of animals, we've got Jim Riggs' classic book that's been around for a long, long time. It's uh, Blue Mountain Buckskin. Uh, Jim Riggs has the property of uh, being a draftsman that, that uh, uh, delightful in his, his rendition of its drawings and things like that. Uh, the Wet Scrape uh, Rain Tan Buckskin by Stephen Endholm and Tamara Wilder, they too, uh, you detect um, a very extensive um, education backing their, their knowledge. Uh, and generally, these two, whenever I see their name on a book, I, I, I will go to considerable effort to acquire it because I enjoy reading the way they present the topic. Uh, knowledgeable, clearly written, and um, um, uh, pretty uh, up-to-date with regard to abilities to express themselves and so on. Uh, another topic that comes up a great deal in wilderness skills is the axe. Well, you can write a chapter that might be like 10, 20 pages uh, in a book that relates to axe use, but perhaps the learner should maybe go through a pretty big book on axe use. Another delightfully rendered book with regard to profuse drawings and illustrations and generally cover the whole issue of working wood, which includes the axe and the saw. Hunting with a bow and arrow. Again, a classic. Saxton Pope, he was the fellow that uh, related to Ishi, the last, uh, the, the last uh, 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 native of, of his particular tribe when he was encountered, and Saxton Pope was actually quite um, uh, into the bow making and archery and that sort of stuff. So if you were to start out in archery, it's a good book to get a hold of. A book that recently has come on the scene, which has grabbed my attention, and um, Catching Fire, How Cooking Made Us Human, how this author is saying that mankind cooked food so far back in history that our dentition, our jaw muscles, our digestive system had changed to accommodate cooked food. And so as a result, when you are trying to live off the land and eat nothing but raw, wild stuff you might find you cannot gain weight. That you have to realize the importance of cooking something to release all the calories and energy that, uh, that, that the, the way we operate with such a high energy intake. One book on flint napping. Probably, you can spend half a lifetime mastering all these skills and one book is uh, encompasses a great deal. You could have seven, but the one book is all that, uh, that, that on the quality and sophistication, I only have, I have very few books in that respect. Some people may say, well, how about firearms? Well, to me, The Anatomy of Firearms by, by Wallach, Wallach, it really gives you a very good basis, although you could have a large library on nothing but firearms. But the person who is not exactly that fired up but wants to be skillful fairly skillful and competent in the use of firearms, you might find that this is a, a, a book that will take you well down the road. And snowshoeing, you can't say that much about snowshoeing, although you might find 50 books on skiing. And the, um, the Jing Prater, uh, he's been around for the last 50 years or more, and not only do you get uh, your uh, winter camping, but you just about get everything you could possibly have to know ever on snowshoeing. Now again, we have here uh, distinct topics, which uh, I felt uh, people might find very much useful information 
uh, to fulfill their uh, uh, need to know about some of these sort of things. Uh, and this gives us about five separate topics that pretty well encompassed with one book rather than numerous. It's not an issue of ri ri reading many, many books like bears. The more books you read, the better off you'll be. But with some topics, one book is about all that you're going to ever really need because the topic is of that nature.